Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be another episode of thrift store and garage sale finds. It has been a little while since I have done one of these videos and for some of you new subscribers of mine you may not even uh, know that I do these kind of videos but these are essentially videos that I do from time to time when I find cool and interesting and sometimes really obscure items at uh, thrift stores and garage sales in my area. And today we have uh, one of those cool items and that is going to be another PC. This is an HP Envy Phoenix computer as you can probably see um, by the box right there behind the actual machine itself. But what's very cool about this machine is, as you can probably tell from the title, I only paid $20 for this machine. Uh, it was an insanely good deal. Um, I got it at uh, a garage sale here in my area. And this is actually not that old of a machine, which is why I uh, found it really surprising that they were selling it for such a low price. I actually got it for a, a little bit below $20, um, but that was the price it was advertised at. And this is actually a pretty decently specced PC. This actually has an Intel Core i7. 4770 processor so not the newest i7 but it is still an intel core i7 processor it has 16 gigabytes of ram a one terabyte hard drive and an nvidia geforce gt 640 graphics card so i don't know what the uh you know retail cost of this computer was when it was new but i can guarantee you it's going to be a lot more than 20 dollars probably in the uh, 500 up to you know 800 900 maybe even a thousand dollar range uh, you know this is a very uh, decently spec computer for the time I believe that this came out in uh, around 2014 maybe even 2015 time frame and in this video what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing you guys around this computer what uh, the, the inside of it looks like and we're actually going to be booting this up and seeing what is on the hard drive if there is anything on the hard drive as for those of you guys who have seen some of my previous computer find videos, you'll know that I find some very interesting and, uh, yeah, just very interesting uh, stuff that people leave on their hard drives that they probably should never leave um, on a hard drive for a computer that you sell or even donate to a thrift store. You know, if you guys saw the uh, $2.50 Power Mac G5 video, um, that machine had a ton of personal data on it. Uh, including the guy's social uh, security number and a bunch of like his old business records and bank statements and a bunch of crazy stuff that he left on that machine. And of course, like I always do, I always make sure that I wipe these computers that I use a program like D-Band to totally destroy all the data on the hard drive. And hopefully we won't have to do that today with this computer, but uh, we definitely might as you never really know what is kept on these computers. So let me just go ahead and uh, give you a brief tour of the front of the machine here starting with the very top so on the top here uh we've got you know your controls we've got a power button uh back here and behind this little gate here kind of like right here we've got uh, a headphone port a microphone port and two uh usb 3.0 ports we'll go ahead and pan down here oh and by the way if you guys uh think i sound a little bit different than usual that is because i do because i'm using a new microphone uh, so be sure to let me know how that you guys think this sounds, if it sounds better or worse than the microphone that I usually use. Uh, this is a setup that if it sounds good is going to make it uh, a lot easier for me to do these kind of videos as I'm actually recording the audio right off of the camera so I don't have to you know, deal with a separate audio recorder or anything like that. Uh, down here we've got, I mean usually with these HP computers I've owned a, a, a few different HP machines before. They, they uh, usually do this on the front here where they've got one of these bays taken up by a DVD drive and then they leave one open bay right here for you to put a second DVD drive or you know whatever else that you want in uh, that second five and a quarter inch bay. Right there we've got uh, two stickers, one for the Intel Core i7 uh, one for the NVIDIA GeForce processor. When we slide down this door here, a full card reader, so you can load things like an SD card, even a compact flash card in there. And we've got four USB 2.0 ports uh, right there. And uh, moving around to the side here, you can see, I mean, I'm not gonna open the side panel just yet. I do wanna show you the back first, but this is what the side panel looks like. It has kind of a bit of, of, of not a full glass panel, but kind of like a little plastic see-through insert with, you know, a cool little like, uh, design there so you can kind of see part of the machine um, but it's not like a full see-through panel um, and on the back here here's uh, what those usb ports look like as you can see there so yeah uh, once again two uh, usb 3.0 ports and your mic and headphone 
uh, jacks there. And uh, on the back here, I'll just kind of uh, briefly pan the camera down to show you what uh, port selection we have on the back. Uh, we've got obviously the power supply up top. We've got uh, the slots for your expansion cards, and there is a you know that uh, uh, GT640 graphics card in here, which um, has a uh, display port, an HDMI, and a DVI. So there's no VGA on the graphics card, but that's usually to be expected. However, down there where the actual motherboard is, you can see we do have two VGA slots. I believe those are both VGA. Yeah, those do look because they are blue on the side, so that does look like two uh, VGA ports. Uh, maybe one's like a DVI. Um, we've got all your audio interfaces, you know, all your audio ports up there at the very top. On the bottom, we got uh, two USB 3.0, below that two USB 2.0, and uh, an Ethernet port. Uh, there is a Windows 8 sticker right uh, on that uh, metal bracket there, so that leads me to believe that we're going to be running at a minimum Windows 8, unless the guy, you know, like reinstalled Windows 7, as I'm sure a lot of people did with these computers, and they just don't like Windows 8, they might put Windows 7 back on it. Um, but uh, I would guess that, you know, with Microsoft's force updating and, you know, Windows 10 and, and that whole debacle, uh, this machine very well could be running Windows 10. But before I actually boot it up, let's go ahead and take off the side panel and actually do a little bit of uh, cleaning to this computer as, as you see when I take this off. There's a good amount of dust, so let's just go ahead and take the side panel off there. And yeah, so you can see, I'm gonna actually just flip this on its side so I can get a little better overhead shot of the uh, of the system here. So you can see there's a there's a fair amount of dust. Let me go ahead and zoom in here on like the hard drive. You can see that this thing hasn't really been cleaned in uh, in a good while. There's I mean there's not a whole lot of dust just on these ports here. There's a very decent amount. The rest of the system actually looks very decent. It's you know very clean over here. Um, we do have you know the stock. I mean nothing here has really been updated. There are still uh, the two slots uh, or the two RAM slots that are free. It does have the original um, 8 gig DDR3 RAM uh, modules in there. Uh, we do have the same stock cooler on that processor, so that was never updated. Same graphics card, uh, the same power supply even. You can see the HP logo up there. So let's just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna grab, I'll actually probably zoom in on the hard drive for this, but I do have a can of uh, dust off, you know, one of these like air blaster things that you can use on computers and you know electronics or whatever to just get all this dust off. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, do that here to kind of clean this up. That already looks a lot better. I, I just noticed this is actually a, uh, a WD Blue drive. A lot of these HP computers would use a Seagate Barracuda drive, so that's kind of interesting to see that. Uh, that is a one point, uh, you have a 1.0 terabyte drive, so very nice. Let's go ahead and just clean the uh, the fans off here. So that is definitely looking much better. I'll go ahead and do a little tour around it again. The, like the main part I wanted to get to was uh, the the, uh, the top of that hard drive there. That was filled with a lot of dust. So uh, I'm just going to leave this the way it is. Hopefully this thing will turn on. Um, like most things that you buy from a garage sale. Uh, there's no real guarantee that the thing's going to work. I mean, the owner can say that it works, but you never know if they're just saying that to just kind of, you know, make a, uh, a quick buck off of you. Um, I'm, I'm sure that it's happened before. So we'll go ahead and just screw this back in here. So even if I, uh, you know, got a non-working unit here for $20, this could still make a very decent computer. You know, let's say that like the processor's dead or if the RAM's, you know, uh, needs to be replaced. Uh, that's, a, you know, something that you can easily get, uh, you know, used off of eBay and, and, and you can make this a very decent computer. So what I'm going to do is just get all this hooked up to a monitor and uh, I'm going to come back once I have that all set up and we can take a look at this computer. All right, so we've got the machine um, hooked up here. I'll have to kind of uh, apologize for the annoying uh, grainy effect that's going on. That's something that this camera just does when it's in low light. Um, but I've got the whole thing set up. And let's just go ahead and uh, press the power button, see what happens. So it does uh, kind of light up with this nice red color. Uh, so it is actually turning on, it's, uh, it's a good sign. We'll just see here if the monitor decides to come on, which it may or may not do, because I don't know if I have the right adapter plugged in, because this monitor doesn't have a VGA um, port or a uh, DVI port on it. Yeah, it turns out I just had the, uh, the wrong adapter plugged in, but so we get this thing turned on and it's coming up with a smart hard disk error. It's saying that 
the smart hard disk check has detected an imminent failure to ensure no data loss please back up the contents immediately and run the hard disk test let's just press enter to continue startup and see what happens here so it is just press f1 to boot and yeah so it looks like we have at least a copy of windows 8 on here oh wow well that was so oh okay so <laughs> Uh, yeah, this thing is working. So I guess that the hard drive might need to be replaced or at least looked at because it's saying that uh, Again, there was that smart error and now that that error I didn't close that window that just went away um, It looks like right off the bat. We have Office 2003 installed So that's interesting. We got like three different shortcuts to Microsoft Word here there's no personal data as far as I can see on the desktop. So I'm, I'm first thing I'm going to do is put a different like desktop background. All right. So hopefully you guys can see this. All right. Let me just try to like put a proper background on here. Cause I mean like the video, man, so this thing is definitely like HP. Like I'm trying to click on HP here and it just doesn't even do anything. Yeah. Something's definitely wrong with the, with the hard drive, definitely, because it's, it's it's not like, like when I try to go to a different folder for the picture location, it just doesn't even browse over there. So this does look like it's at least Windows 8.1. He has nothing on the start screen here, probably because he didn't use it. Uh, like most people with a desktop computer don't really use uh, the start screen. On this screen, uh, I'm going through the programs here. It doesn't seem to be uh, that many programs. We got like Xfinity, Wi-Fi, Windows 10 upgrade assistance. So this guy probably was looking to upgrade to Windows 10. So what I'm going to do now is, I mean, like this, this window does not want to close for some reason. I don't know what it is. It just does not like, and you see, I pressed Alt F4 there and it came up with the, like, let me get out of this start screen here. Like I press Alt, Alt F4 and it's not doing anything. So Let's just go ahead and take a look at what's on here. Obviously, I'm not going to show any personal information on the video. I'm definitely going to have to, I mean, at the least format this with, you know, something like DBN if there's a, a lot of data. Let's just take a look at, at what we got here. So we got, you know, two different, I mean, th there's only one hard drive, but HP always creates a uh, recovery partition over here. So you may be able to see that there. Um, the Windows drive has 606 gigs free, so it's about half used. Um, of the full one terabyte. Let's go into documents here. Documents is empty. So I, I, I guess that they, I mean, either this person didn't use the, the documents folder or they wiped everything off. Let's go into downloads here. Downloads is also empty. Desktop, there's uh, just all those programs and stuff. Music is empty. Pictures is empty. Videos is empty. Let's try to go to just see. Apparently the, the date is in like the British time or, or like the British style where it's date, month, and year instead of month, day, year. All right. So I've gone ahead and adjusted the white balance. So hopefully you'll be able to kind of see the screen a little bit better, but there definitely does appear to be some personal data uh, of some kind on here. It's all stored on the root directory of the C drive. But let's kind of, oh yeah, there's definitely, definitely some stuff in here. Um, 2000, I mean, I'm not going to say what these are. And you're not, you're not even going to be able to see them because they're all going to be blurred out. So without really getting into too much detail, uh, there's definitely a lot of personal documents on this computer. Some legal documents, stuff that you, uh, stuff that would be good for other people to, uh, to have possession of. So... Uh, before I end off this video, let's do a one key pause break and just take a look at the, uh, the specifications once again. So yeah, like I thought it was running Windows 8.1. It's got that Core i7-4770 at 3.4 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM. So yeah, pretty much everything that is on the box. So nothing was upgraded, but, um, just to end off this video with the same, uh, note and warning and, uh, advice that I usually do. Uh, if you're going to donate a computer, if you're going to sell a computer, if you're going to in any way get rid of a computer, make sure you don't have any personal data on the hard drive because if this computer had fallen into somebody else's hands, uh, they could have had a lot of uh, this guy's personal in, uh, info, which is really none of their business stuff that they don't need to have. This is a lot of, you know, private information. Um, so as I always do, I'm going to be wiping this drive with something like D-Band. I may do like a, you know, follow up video on that if you guys want to, but just make sure, um, if you're going to get rid 
of, of your computer in whatever you know method that you decide to do so make sure you either at least format your hard drive at the most take your hard drive out and physically destroy it if you have a lot of sensitive documents on there but that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, just again, a look at this HP Envy computer. Um, this may be uh, featured in a few or um, in you know some uh, later videos that I do on, on this channel. Like I said, I may do uh, a follow-up video of you know uh, just wiping this guy's data off here if you guys want me to do so. Um, but I just want to, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.